cronies will insist, particularly now he is dead, that he wasn't really so bad. A rogue, but a very lovable one, was the response of one misguided apologist as news of the death at 89 of Ronnie Knight. Ganglin figure and ex-husband of actress Barbara Windsor emerged yesterday. This was the image Knight loved to play up to. I only ever robbed the rich and I never hurt anyone, he liked to say. But in a rare moment of introspection, he admitted he was no heroic outlaw. Oh no, I wasn't Robin Hood, I was a robbing BD, he smirked. Indeed, this dapper playboy rubbed shoulders with some of London's nastiest, most violent gangsters, including the sadistic Cray twin. His own criminality included handling the proceeds of the six million pounds security express robbery in which a guard was threatened with being burned alive unless he handed over the keys to the vault. And then there was his admission that he once got away with murder after being cleared of a brutal gangland slaying only to later gloat that he paid a contract killer to carry out the hit. It was this boast that led police to pressurize ministers into eventually overturning double jeopardy, the law protecting acquitted defendants from being tried a second time in light of new evidence. Knight was proof that with enough charm and swagger, and he had both in plenty, it was not that difficult to hoodwink people into thinking that he really was the endearing cockney rascal he liked to present himself. Call me a convicted receiver of purloined goods, a baddie, a charmer, or what you like, he said. But armed robbery, real villainy, is not my scene. In the London underworld of the 1960s, he achieved prominence by running two of its most notorious watering holes, the Artiste and Repertoire Club in Soho's Charing Cross Road and its neighbor Tin Pan Alley. Here Knight played host to the criminal fraternity and the demi mon that enjoyed rubbing padded shoulders with it. Showbiz names were always made welcome, recalling one party thrown by the female impersonator Danny LaRue. He later described Noel Coward, tinkling away on the ivories for all he was worth, and James Bond star Roger Moore drawing the girls like horseflies to a cow patch. Marriage to Miss Windsor, pin-up star of the carry-on films, only elevated his reputation. Inconveniently, he was still married to his first wife, June, mother of his two children, when he first met the comely former child star. I fancied her so much my front teeth ate, Knight later wrote. Black and white pictures from the time show the two of them with Ronnie and Reggie Cray in El Morocco. The Chinatown club the twins bought and ran as part of their attempt to extend their influence into the West End. I was introduced to Barbara by a fellow who was an extra in the film business. He later recalled, I thought she's nice and called her up a couple of times, then started taking her out. It was only some time later that he chose to tell the actress that he was actually married with a five-year-old child and a wife who was eight months pregnant.